This is the first week of the creation of Falling Rocks Media Co. I'm looking over this thing I wrote for episode one, introduction. Um, and so I was going to start by checking off the list with who I am. I'm Austin Carey. I'm a 27-year-old. I base jump. And that's what this channel is all about, is base jumping. I live in Pinedale, Wyoming currently. I came out here to be specifically closer to the mountains that I jump from. As you can see, it's cloudy today. In order to help you guys know who I am, I wanted to show you my apartment. So, I'm here in Pinedale, Wyoming. <laughs> and scattered amongst is a lot of stuff that I'm working on. Projects, skateboard, old trekking pole. <laughs> It's kind of funny because this has been like this since I got here early spring after the snow melted. But I have a mixture of uh, ice axes, shoes, sandpaper, paint roller, uh, machete in that corner. I have my wingsuit laying out, muscle roller, snow sled for this winter baby. This is my kitchen. I got some books and some note cards of stuff that... I'm actively keeping track of as I am working on creating this episode. And so right now I just wanted to start with telling you who I am and showing you a bit of my apartment. And later I will cross some more stuff. Here's another one. This is all about Patreon. And these are all maps of the Wind River Range, which is just down the road basically. I'm at the closest town that has civilization <laughs> uh, to the Wind River Range and to the access to all the spots, all the trailheads that are good. So as you can see, I got all these great maps. Here's an awesome picture. This was a friend and me standing at the exit point of Taft in Yosemite National Park. And it's just a spectacular photo. There's my stash bag, which is currently full of like camping gear, uh, split board, snowshoes, more books, <laughs> bear spray. I haven't needed it this year, but uh, in the spring and the snow, I was following some bear tracks and that was the closest I came to actually being near a bear, I think, because the tracks were just a day old. And so uh, I got my Garmin and Reach device, uh, range finder, puffies, <laughs> crampons in the floor. I try not to step on those bitches. <laughs> but as I like scurry out of my bed in the middle of the night to take a pee, it's I've had a few close calls. Here's my closet, a wetsuit hanging up, my base rigs down there. And this is my hat from Vegas. Fire this year. Base Dragon, baby. That's the nickname. So, not too much to see in here. Just a small little studio apartment. It's perfect for me and really comfortable. So, yeah. Now that I uh, got a little taste of who I am and where I am. I will go down this list of things I would like to talk about for the introduction and creation of this first episode for Falling Rocks Media Co. So now I'm going to go to the bar here in town and work a little bit more on this project of mine. Here's my van, the Para Alpinist van, which will now also be the uh, Falling Rocks Media Company van. Today was the first snow up in the mountains, which we're at 7,000 feet here in town and up in the mountains, 13,000 feet. Gannett is the uh, tallest mountain in Wyoming and that's here in the Wind River Range as well. And so I know Jackson Hole at the top ski lift, they got snow. <laughs> but uh, we have a nice thrift store in town I got some cross-country skis the other day. I got some ice skates. 
hoping to make this winter pretty spectacular here in the Wind Rivers. I'm an adrenaline base dealer. I got some stash bags laying around. Got some t-shirts, a uh, pair alpinist and adrenaline base. And so this is my little base van. Twin Falls is five hours away. And then a lot of other jumping destinations are close by. So when I go on my little multi-day trips away from town into the mountains to other surrounding destinations, this thing's pretty comfortable to sleep out of. Uh, I'm gonna continue on to the bar and do some more work. <laughs> All right, so I'm here at the bar in Pinedale. I'm going over some notes that I have. So as I mentioned already, my name's Austin Carey. I'm 27 years old, base number 1914. So I've been base jumping for five years. Through my years in base, I've also actively been a mountaineer and pursuing that as well as base jumping. And therefore, I'm a para-alpinist. And that is where my real drive is a uh, is a jumper lies, um, which is why I'm here in Wyoming in the Wind River Range. As time goes, I'll seek uh, feedback from all my viewers and hopefully get some really useful criticism and see what people are liking and enjoying and what people want to see more of or see, see next. I have some great ideas for this and with the help of everyone else, I hope that we can really put something great together and do something different for the community of base jumping because we don't get a lot of exposure like this and entertainment that's solely focused around what we do because uh, I don't know I think there's many things involved that limit the uh, exposure that we get as jumpers in our community but um, I'm hoping to change that so cheers to the creation of falling rocks which <laughs> came from Miles Dasher because I always see him wearing this shirt Falling Rocks and I wanted to create a name that didn't say base jumping we're trying to break away from that that idea that everybody has about the legality of what it means to be a base jumper so I wanted to create a name and a company that didn't have that so Falling Rocks because it, it really rocks and we all know that. So, cheers. So I'm up here at the access directly outside of Pinedale. As you can see the Wind River Range sign here. Today was the first snowfall. High altitude has already gotten snow here in Wyoming. <laughs> and it is great. Home. I decided to take a little trip to Clark Forks Canyon. Did I say that right? Clark's Fork Canyon? Clark Forks Canyon? Anyhow, I'm here at the canyon. So tomorrow I'm going to go check out the LZ and then I'm going to go back up and go to the actual exit point. Check it out. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Jesus, I drove like, well, five hours to get to Cody, Wyoming from Pinedale. Went to the climbing store in town, got some maps. Um, got some beta from a local guy, climber guy that worked at the store. Some other shit. Drove out here, drove up to uh, where you'd park to go to the exit point, cruised around, checked out the scene. Fortunate for me, there was a bar right at the road that breaks off like six miles before the trailhead. <laughs> so I got a few little drinks in me, nice little nightcap, and I'm going to pass out. I love it. <laughs> oh, so I just woke up. I'm in Clark Fork Canyon. 
here. This is my little <laughs> makeshift sleeping spot. I got a few layers, some carpet pieces, a uh, sleeping pad, and then a tarp. I got uh, my down jacket. Stuff with pull-up cords for my pillow. Oh fuck. It's windy as shit out. I can hear it and it's only gotten stronger. Well, as the sun as the sun got up. Oh fuck. Like, yeah. In my head, this is where we all came from. The dreams we had, the love we shared. This is what we're waiting for. Woo! We are from. Yes. Yes, bowling rocks, baby! This is why I do this! Because I fucking love it! We Space Dragon, baby! Mine in my head. This is where we all came from. The dreams we had, love we shared. This is what we're waiting for. I'm here at the landing area for this Clark Fork Canyon uh, jump. And so this is the trail. It took me like uh, an hour and a half maybe. That goes back to the car park as you can see the steep canyon. And then as I pan across, you'll see the exit. So there's the mountain that you jump from. And there's this V in the face. Straight up from that is where the known exit point is. As you can see, you got some really nice landing options. Some potential train to fly. You could buzz the top of that ridge or some shit like that. I think it's like a 2,500 foot overall jump. So not a whole lot of flight time, but pretty good amount for uh, easy access and uh, landing and getting out of here. Got all the information I needed. So it was a successful trip. Uh, there's a lot of wind today. Even if I wanted to jump, it's unlikely that I would be able to but uh, yeah so I'm out here in Wyoming uh, out of Clark or uh, the nearest big town is Cody Wyoming and this is Clark Fort Canyon that's an unnamed peak but it's kind of a plateau or um, I don't actually know exactly what you would call it because from down here it's the sheer face but we're in a canyon, so something kind of like what Moab is, I guess. Uh, I've been exploring Wyoming on my own, and I enjoy doing so. Uh, I've gotten to do a lot of amazing stuff this summer, and I'm very fortunate for that. And then um, with the creation of Falling Rocks, uh, I hope to bring videos similar to this introduction video. Um, but a lot better, <laughs> a lot better to come. So do uh, jumper interviews and live broadcasts from events and a whole bunch of stuff. I have a lot of plans for this, this channel. And uh, with the help of you guys, I plan to roll with it and make it better as I go. So um, yeah, I love base jumping. I love being out here in the wilderness going up to mountain exit points. Uh, I love subterminal, but I really love mountaineering and I really love flying off the mountain that I ascend, so.
and I'm hiking out, going back to the car. I'm in a <laughs> so we gotta get to Jackson by seven. I came out here and uh, got everything I wanted to get in order to come back and do this jump. I thought I'd take a moment here to explain that uh, with this channel, I would like to do more videos like this, but so much broader range of videos. Everything from all the awesome Slider Town jumps to just the parties that we get to enjoy, such as uh, Vegas and other events and stuff that go on around the world. I want to do a lot of things with this channel. And I want to do it all because I really, truly am passionate about base jumping. I love the sport. I love the people, for the most part, in the sport. <laughs> and uh, I think everybody around the world should see what we, what we do and what we get to experience and how we live and all these things that uh, no one else is really providing for base jumpers as far as outlets, uh, media outlets. There's been channels like Epic TV and other stuff that kind of showcase the jumps. But I want to showcase everything. We're special people. We live special lives. We do really amazing things. And uh, I want to share all that. So I have a little bit different perspective on uh, what I want to do. And I think that will set me apart from everybody else. You got David Lafarga, and uh, he makes some interesting, funny videos, and they're cool. But I don't need to make fun of people or be funny all the time to be creative and make good content. The community provides the best content. What we are and who, what we do, and everything that is uh, involved in in base jumping pretty spectacular so I love all that and that's what I want to share and so with this channel I plan on doing that and with all of your help I plan on growing and getting more creative and expanding my ideas and doing things that others want to see and enjoy viewing so please by all means give me your feedback good or bad I don't care I've been expanding online more and gotten over the stress that comes from all the negative bullshit people have to say. So give me your best bullshit. I don't care. This shit's funny. I think one episode would be funny just to go online and go through all these forums and <laughs> laugh about all the crazy shit people say online. I think that'd be hilarious. And maybe that's getting a little bit like David making fun of some people, but... That would be one episode I'd be interested in. So, <laughs> give me your feedback. I want to hear from you. Thank you, my friends. Woo! So, I just got back to my car. And it was eh, closer to an hour going in and then another hour coming back out. But, uh... Yeah, I had a little bit more time to think about falling rocks and the episodes that I'm going to do with that. And so I've kind of come to the conclusion that I'm going to try to release uh, an episode every every month, roughly. About every 30 days or so, I plan to have a fully finished episode ready to release. And uh, since I'll be doing one a month, I've decided that I'll try to make each video 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, I think that'll be a good amount of time because as I'm sitting here chit-chatting, like I've noticed uh, a few minutes here and there add up a lot. I'm going to spend the rest of this week editing this intro video. And so with the completion of the intro video, I'll have a better idea for how long this video was and how long I want to do for the future. Um, but kind of with the idea that uh, I want to do some interviews and do events and stuff like that, I think 20 to 30 minutes will be pretty good. And then maybe even longer with, with uh, some of the events I'll be going to. But then again, I could break them down into multiple episodes. 
and uh, so we'll see. But it's a rough idea, one a month and 20 to 30 minutes long. All right, so as I wrap up episode one, there's a lot you can look forward to in coming episodes. As we break into this fall season, there's a lot of events coming up. And if we're attending, you can be sure that we'll be creating content as well as live streaming on our social media accounts. Through this introduction, I hope you've been able to understand a bit better who I am and what I want to do with this channel, as well as the episodes to come. If you like what you've heard and are interested to see what's next for Falling Rocks, keep up to date with us on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon at Falling Rocks Media Co. For episode two, I will be going to Twin Falls, Idaho to hang out with Jumper and friend of mine, Sean Mori. We'll be working together to create episode two. You can keep track of the process by following us on Instagram as we work towards the next episode. It's always a good time in Twin, and word has it that Jester is around. And if that's the case, there's going to be a lot of good content. <laughs> so, until the next episode... Thanks for viewing, as well as your support. Cheers, my friends. You good? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Shit. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention.